Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Wednesday, and this is where we play new games yes, on classic, classic consoles. consoles at 60 frames a second. Make sure you set it to 60 frames a second if you don't already have it set to that because you will miss half the show. That's right. Half the games. And it's the it is... flicker, man. It's the. Yep. Uh, welcome to Wednesday. Erilyn's here, as per usual on the Wednesday. And uh, we're running through more of the nominees for the Atari Homebrew Awards 2019, the year of 2019. Last episode, we went through all of the work in progress games. How were they? Oh, amazing. Revisiting all those games again and just all of them together, all the nominees, which are like the best of the best of the best. It's kind of like a, it's award season. This it, it literally is literally what it is. It is man. literally award season. Which ones popped out? Just not not to give you like well, um, all of them. What, what, was there one or two that in your brain you were like, oh yeah, this was that you kind of like stick uh, with you, you know? Not I don't want it to be like you're nominating them, but just as just off the top of your head, which ones like? I mean, all I mean, all of them. Like I mean, these are the works in progress. I mean, it, it was so much fun playing Robot City again. Yeah. By Thomas Yens, who's who's in the chat today. Um, got to play Zookeeper again, which I've been oh, practicing yeah. actually. The arcade version, which was released on uh, PS2, PS2, yeah, PS2, which I play on my PS3 upstairs, and watching videos on that, getting getting my skills up on Zookeeper. Um, so that was fun, and and it it's it's amazing, you know, with with Galagon and and Zookeeper and the the ports that John Shampo um, ports over. They're so accurate to the arcade that when you play the arcade and then you play the 2600 version, which you would think that there'd have to be some compromises made, it the, the skills translate over. Like I can yeah. play it on the get on the arcade and then play it on the 2600 or vice versa. What's the highest points They're you've totally been able to make? Do you know, or is it like where I have no you? Idea. Okay, so you're no probably, probably better. Oh, than Oh, you may not zookeeper. Yeah. Um, on the arcade one, I've gotten up to 100. And 50,000. It's got to so be from far. jumping over the animals, eh? Not yes, like keeping them in the. Huge. Cause, yeah. Huge animal. Like, you get tons of points. There. It was so obvious to me when we were practicing. I was like, that's the way you get points. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. try to keep them in the it cage. Is. That's not it's, gonna. It's, it's the clumping together and just doing the big jump. And I, I, I'd fail on the, the lion stage. Yeah. That's when it really gets crazy. But in the arcade version, uh, I was watching, like, the world record or whatever, and somehow he's doing this arc of bricks where he blocks it off so when the animals come back out again they're all going in the same direction Ooh. and that's a skill i need to figure out how they're doing that and then make sure that it that same thing does translate to the 2600 and then do it on the 2600 um <laughs> I don't know. We oh, just... they're talking about U.S. politics. Yeah. We'll avoid that. We gotta stay out of that, friends. Um, <laughs> so welcome to everybody. Yeah, back to gaming. That is the best advice ever. Yeah, you gotta stay in your lane, man. <laughs> like, at a certain point. Yep. So, today we're gonna be going through some more of the nominees. But first, I want to thank everybody. Uh, all the Twitch subscribers that uh, help us out here. Cafe Man 2 d Captain Classic... Oh, that's a new name. Charles and Check, Coconut eighty one, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Johnny WC twenty three, Carl G. Croco twenty six hundred, M. K. Smith, Mister Fix, Nathan Strum, R. C. seventy, Repentless V. G. Six Sweet, Sir Cat Lake, Spartan five eight one, Spice Word, the D Train thirty seven, The Welshman eighty nine, Tiki Dan K. Tietfos, and Zach Sclorero. Sclo Scolero. Zach Scolero. One day I'll get it without tripping on it. And uh, that's a long list. And welcome to everybody who's watching us live on Twitch. Remember the time machine today, if required. Probably won't need it today, but uh, yes, I do remember the time machine. We'll try that out. Yeah, we had a rarefied pixel moment for sure. Mr. Pixel just landed yes. here. Um, uh, welcome to the chat. I suppose to Thrust26, Carl G, Dan AVC, Mr. Fix. Uh, I supposed to ground trooper who just resubscribed. It's up to sixteen months. That's amazing, oh my goodness. man! I can't believe we're broadcasting for sixteen months, <sighs> let alone somebody's been subscribing for sixteen is, months. Is lunacy. Spartan five eight one Trey guy Dan EVC, which I think I said 
and all the other people who are watching and lurking oh, or yeah. watching on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to all the things. Um, follow us on uh, the stream here on, on Twitch and also YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So you keep up to date on everything that's happening. And uh, you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and you'll get listed out as well amongst all that. Um, the TM is my baby. That's why I'm insisting. Ah, uh, I guess that's really helpful for testing out your games. Um, the time machine, what it is, is records everything and you can rewind back. Oh. So if you die, you can rewind back a bit and then, and then continue on. So you can go to the further levels, especially when you're making a game and, you know, you're not an expert at this game yet. Yeah. Or... You got to sort of push all the way to the end. That's yeah. very cool that that's an option. I know that mm -hmm. I'd be, when they say time machine, I have a Mac and I have a... <laughs> Time right. Machine Backup that's on my Mac. Yeah. Um, but like that's obviously the same name, but a different thing. You know, same vein of stuff. But it, Yeah, kind of in a different way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, Dan AVC says he's going to be going Prime next month. Oh, well, dude, thank you great. so much. Thank you so much. Perfect for, for cheating, yeah. It is very good for cheating, which we did a couple episodes ago. We were, um, got, we got to the end of... Uh, Ninja Sky in Low Res World, um, which was amazing, but we had to cheat. Yeah, because... you had to slow. <laughs> but now that I did make it all the way there with the saves, uh, I, I definitely can think I can do it. Yeah, it's... without the saves was yeah. perfect for us because if you want to compact like an entire game into a two-hour show, <laughs> so people can it's sort difficult. of see it. Yeah. I mean, we can't be savants at every <laughs> goddamn game. No, we try our best. Um, so... Oh, oh, yes. So, um, the award show is upon us. It is coming up. It's on February 1st. That's right. Um, That's two weeks from now, pretty much. Two weeks from, not this Saturday, but the Saturday after, right? Is it? I'm oh fairly certain, man. A week and a half? I, I think it might be. Oh, you are right. A week and a half away. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And uh, and everybody is like, yeah, we let can't me, vote yet. Let me know if you need a hand with anything like setting up and whatnot. Just keep me posted. Probably like a couple days before. Um, the voting, may the voting start soon. Yes, that's the thing. Yeah. The ooh. voting hasn't started. Damn. And it was supposed to start on the 25th, um, which was a couple... Not the 25th. It's supposed to end on the 25th. So start on the 18th. Oh, yeah. That which was four days ago. And everybody's like... We can't vote yet. Uh, yeah. What's happening? But we've given them the binaries for all the games, so they can all try them out, all the instructions they have. Um, so when the voting starts, they can just click and get the voting yeah. done. So they can write write down all their all their choices beforehand, which is good. So they can prep themselves for voting. But there's been technical issues getting the voting working. Um, Al Yeruso and I... Al from Atari Age, and I've been working through that, getting it up. Mostly Al, not me. Hmm. <laughs> but uh, it's very, very close. We're beta testing at night right now. It's because, and, and you're wondering, well, whose voting was working last year? Why didn't, why didn't you just do it again the same this year? Well, the forums were upgraded between ah. then and now. Quite a big leap in version number. So the plugin that we used last time only works for that old version and doesn't work for the new version so we have to get a new version of the same a similar plugin that has the same functionality because what we're using is like a voting plugin which yeah we're voting for things yeah but mo on most places voting is public you cast your vote you see the polls as they go up everybody but we don't want that we don't want to see them yeah, as they go up. Yeah, because then that turns into sort of a game, you know? It yeah. changes it, I think. It, it changes the perception of who you're voting for. It's like, oh, this one person's ahead. Either Or this I'm person gonna... doesn't have a chance, or I won't bother, you yes. know? Or I want to be on the winning team, or I want to bring up the person who's behind a little bit, or in second place, and it changes the mentality of the way you vote. And also, there's no point in having an award show if you know exactly who wins. yeah. Well, yeah, because then it's like, okay, well... <laughs> oh, we know who the winner is. This is look on the fucking forum. Right. Yeah, so that's that's the reason we Yeah, have to... could you imagine if right before the Oscars they just released a list of all the winners? And then, Nobody like, so would now watch. we're probably... <laughs> Nobody would watch. It'd be, I mean, mo some people would still because, you know, they get up and they accept yeah. the awards. But 
the fun is in the live anticipation. It'd be like of posting it. right before the Super Bowl. It's like, by the way, this is the team that wins. Yeah. Now enjoy the game. <laughs> it's like no. No. Yeah, that's why people say, don't tell me, don't tell me. I've got the game taped or I'll, I'm yeah. watching it later. Because the enjoyment is in the the event. Absolutely. It's, it's in the anticipation. It's in the live reveal. Uh, it, yeah. So that's that's the reasoning behind it. Uh, and But the, the technical issue is, is what's holding it up. And I'm going to extend the deadline for voting. Absolutely. I don't know sense. how many days because I still have to deal with that the results after as well yeah to arrange to get the people live on the show to accept the awards and i have to make sure and get the technology for that ready what video program are you using are you going to be writing something give them time enough to write something mm -hmm. like an acceptance speech or whatever they need to do um so there's i need that time as well but i'll push it as far as i can so that there's enough time for me and enough time for them so we can still do the award show complete. but i did leave that little gap because i know i know things go off things go awry so i made sure there was time between everything for uh shifting it and you don't have to put are the names on the awards no god because i was just thinking about that detail no, no. oh yeah because it's, it's just it just says best whatever right on oh the perfect because yeah that but would the names are on the certificates which will come later no, like I can print them as soon as oh, I Oh, there we go. I just print them in my printer. Oh, done. Yeah, yeah, because I have special, like, award, like, it looks nice already, and then I just use the, the color ink or color toner and print it ah, out. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that, so... That makes it easier, but, yeah, it was a detail I was thinking about that would because, be... Because, you know, for my film, I've won a bunch of awards, and some of them are instant. Here's your award. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of them are, we'll ship it to you in the mail. And we're actually still waiting on one <laughs> from, you know, three, four months ago. Yeah, because this, I mean, they got to get their stuff together. Yeah, they have and... to engrave it and do that and then send it out, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, engraving costs a lot and we don't have that money. So you yeah. don't get personalized engraved, but you do get a personalized award certificate. Maybe years down the road, we get bigger sponsors, you know, it turns in yeah absolutely then we can get them personalized engraved yeah. yeah and i guess especially with this forum sort of glitch which was probably unforeseen i mean yeah. that changes things and it's just yeah. how life goes you know yeah you roll with it hell yeah you make it happen but the awards are still happening on february 1st so absolutely. that is all good same time because i have people that are like coming off vacation for to help like darcy's yeah darcy's coming off vacation early to, to be or Which shifted, so shifted his vacation. God, uh, yeah. he's a he's a chiller man. He's yeah. a good guy. But I, you know, I got to arrange these with all the people that are going to be there. Yeah, it's, it's a scheduled thing, and if I move it two days, like oh, I can't be there now, so it has to stay, stay in the right spot. I'm going to clear my schedule to be here February first. I put on a Saturday, so in at noon Pacific time. So that's good for you know Europe. It's good for all of North America. So it hopefully should be okay for everyone else. Yeah, and I'll but, for sure be here. It'll be fun. Excellent. I got my uh, I got my shirt picked out. Oh, I don't know. I, I'll see if I'll wear my blazer or not. I have to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, I'm, try I'm, it. Mm. I'll make the call on the day. This is what I feel the most comfortable in. I really don't feel comfortable in a blazer, and I feel like that defeats the purpose of a blazer. Right. It's like I think. Gotta be comfortable. Well, yeah. Gotta you know. look good and be comfortable. I'm not wearing a tie. I hate ties. Yeah, absolutely. So that's my compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Never a tie. Um, so mail news and feedback, not much, but uh, some interesting news. There's been a game that I've been waiting forever to come out on cartridge just because of how unique this game mm -hmm. is. Um, it is Ram Pong by Thomas Yench, um, and it's one step closer to being on cartridge. It's been a long time coming um, because OZYR, who's David Packrat Fleming in the uh, forums... He posted, hello, Thomas, David Fleming writing you, in regard to finally getting Ram Pong published via Packrat. Uh, I've got the box work almost done and just need to work on the manual because last time I remember talking to Thomas or something and saying, oh, he, he was waiting on uh, Packrat to finish off their end because the game's been done for a long, long time. Um, at this point, I'm wondering if you have a basic listing of the manual. I know it is Pong, but a full list of what the game could do would be nice. I've gathered what I found here, but it would be... I'm sure there's a bit more. Thanks in advance. Sorry for taking so long to get this published. Long story, which I don't want to share in public here. 
So he kind of yeah. put an open letter. I don't know why he couldn't get in touch with Thomas, but we benefit knowing that it's getting closer to being Absolutely. released. And I don't know if you know anything about Ram Pong. No, it's, I know zero. <laughs> well, the Atari 2600 has 128 bytes of memory, and that is nothing. That is so small. Uh, what Thomas did was made a game to fit completely in memory of the Whoa. Atari, rather than reading it off of the cartridge every time. So what this cartridge does is you plug it in, you turn on the game, it loads it completely into memory, and at that point you can remove the cartridge. And then still play. And still play the wow. game, which makes it incredibly unique of, of a game. Um, like, no other game has done that. Um, so that's what's and so really when cool you, about when it. And so when you're saying like a 4K game, that's 4,000 bytes. bytes. And this is, so this and that's is... that's a normal kind of low-end, early release 2600 in the 70s was 4K. So this, Usually is, two. this is 128 bytes. Bytes. Yeah, not 2,048. It's 128. Wow. And it plays a game. That's insane. A two-player game. Yeah, and it, and that's insane. just Pong, right? Like the classic... Classic Pong. Old yeah. school... Two, two people, either side of the screen, putting the ball back and forth. Yeah. Um, Ram Pong and Pong written with. Oh, I'm understanding Ram, Ram because Ram, it's running off like the Ram of the thing. Like, yes. I yeah, was thinking even, Ram is in the animal, oh, and no, I, was, no. I was imagining two Rams just fucking knocking yeah, a ball. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the small amount of cheeked out memory that, yeah, bong, bong, bong. Hey, you could make just, a Ram just, Pong. Just hitting their heads against <laughs> the ball. And Thrust said he sent David a, a PM today. Awesome. So wow, it's, it's so moving it's, it's along. Fun. That's so good. we might get Ram Pong in, in 2020. I'm sure someone's made Atari logo blazers somewhere. Yeah. Pinterest alone. Yeah. There's got to be someone out there. Yeah, someone on Etsy, somebody posting on Pinterest. It's just hard though cuz where'd you put it on the back of the blazer? Like a little <laughs> lo like a little kind of like tiny yeah. little logo maybe like yeah. a kind of schoolboy. And I suppose it says uh, Ram Pong and Pong wit written without RAM are both amazing to me. Wow. So somebody wrote a game without using the memory of the Atari. I can't remember how they did it. Did they use the information uh, in all the variables, like the non-RAM part? I can't remember how they did it, but somebody made the opposite game, and that was really, really cool. I uh, feel like whenever I thought of Atari before I did this show, I thought of Pong. That was, you know, like the, in, in my head, I was like, that's all people do. When, and even yeah. when you told me like about the show, I was like, we're just going to play Pong for fucking <laughs> nine years? Is this, yeah. You know, and it's, it's so, in, it, that's why it's such a cool concept because that is like the, for Pong to run off of RAM. It's, it's a strong association between yeah. the two, Nolan Bushnell making Pong. Um, uh, S. Ramirez, thank you very much for resubscribing with uh, Twitch Prime. Subscribe for nine months and he gets his new little nine month. Yeah. Uh, logo well, there with the rainbow well it's also interesting because we talk about like what is it there's balls and there's player one and what, what player are the two and i, I player think zero and player one it starts I, at zero yeah and like in my mind that's always related to pong as well i could yep. be totally wrong but it's that that's, that's exactly right i mean the atari uh the variables were or the, the the pieces that make up a game for the atari 2600 were made made for combat which is the pack-in game yeah which was two tanks a play field um it didn't use the ball but it used two missiles yeah and then the ball was for was for pong wow. so that was what the atari was made for with so those early games like pong and nothing more and of course it's <laughs> and now we've taken this to well some surpassed. fucking next level yeah wow. everything is relative in pong so you just move the objects by a delta uh, interesting okay. interesting yeah Atari smoking jacket. There we go. Yeah, that's what we need. So we're going to continue on today with uh, the nominees. We did the works in progress last episode, and I think we're going to go now with the 4K and under games. Excellent. And and just see how far we can get with those. We're last episode we did like one game each, 
then moved on to the next. Like one, uh, yeah, oh, one yeah. turn each. Absolutely. Moved on to the next. Yeah, so we can turn. get through some of these. And, yeah, and we've, I, we've done them on the show. And I've got a, a, an out today, unfortunately, because I have to run off, which which means a slightly shorter show. But Well, it's a normal a show. A normal show. I just have to... <laughs> a we, two hour... Yeah, I just got to I just got bail at one, which I feel bad for you folks, because it's just... Right now, everything's were happening at once in my life, and yeah, trying to make it all work, which is... Okay. Well, that's fine, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll get through it. Okay, so 4K and under, we're going to do it alphabetically. I love it. Um, so the first one is uh, one of your favorites, Amoeba Jump. Fuck yeah, man. Is so, it seriously? It is. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, I have to maybe not do so well. So we don't <laughs> just play Amoeba Jump for... <laughs> Amoeba Jump's a quick game, so we might have a couple games each. Okay, cool. Yeah. Or we might do really well, and then that's the other issue. We'll, I mean, that, what a good problem to have that might be. That's yeah, we'll just see how we do. So... Okay. The annoyed. Over. Oh, you thank you first. so much. Oh, it's yeah. going to be fun on this controller because this is one where the controller really affects um, oh, yeah. the the thing, you know. Definitely. Not Poodle Jump. <laughs> <laughs> and not the slow version. Not the hyper conversion. There we go. Let me get everything going first. Yeah, here. no the problem. Volume. Look at this little guy. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, we're set. Let's jump, jump into it. And um, oh, see, I'm a. It's, this controller is gonna take me a sec. I'm doing okay, but I can just feel that as this gets more intense, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna struggle. Because it's a very, uh, very critical in the movements. Yeah, like the even that I missed. Because the like, platforms I'm lucky. are so specific and precise. Yeah. Oh, uh, see, let me try one more and then I'll yeah. pop over to you. Also, because I mean, I want to give Amoeba Jump its due, but at the <laughs> True. same, at we the same time, thirty seconds each, and we move on. But yeah. at the same time, there's also. This is a problem game in the sense of that I can fucking play this shit all goddamn day. Oh, but I gotta get used to this. Let me try one more just so that. Oh god. Yeah, we gotta get at least up to the um, part where there's the mo the blue platforms. The one of the challenges is I'm platforms. so used to your other controller for this. Yeah. That um, it just takes a second to calibrate because it's kind of like this is like all you're doing is precise motion. Mr. Fix is 18 months. Wow. S. Ramirez is 16 months. 18 month subscriber. That oh. is amazing. And on your turn, Thank I, I so got a, I got a, I wouldn't, I'm not going to call it a good story, but I got a story yeah. for when you play. I'm okay. Excited. Get that O? No, too hard to get oh, that Too o. hard. I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, for people who don't know, it's um, it's a points game. I should oh, I should actually read who yeah, it's by and everything. Um, this no! is Amoeba Jump okay, by I'll pass it over uh, Dion Olsthorn, uh, aka D Annoyed, and uh, it's a platformer. Um, it is made originally. It it is a port of. Oh god! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, see, god. it takes a second to get used to. It does it's a port of Poodle Jump? No, uh, no, Doodle, Doodle Jump. Jump. Fuck yeah, on the iOS. Yes. And he's taken it so much farther. It's cool. It kind of started as that. Now it's turned into its own thing, which is it awesome. It has. It's 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 very different. It doesn't have all the things that Doodle Jump I does. Think, and... I I bet you this controller would be better if I got used to it. It's very um, precise. It's just so. It's just such a different thing, and it's like so hard when you're kind of used to one thing. Oh yeah. And it's 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 like playing the keyboard. Oh yeah. So I went to go see Midsummer, man. Oh, finally. Okay. Oh god. Okay. So what was this? Is like I probably shouldn't tell the story. I'm gonna like I'll tell it, and I'll be as like leave out. I'll leave out as many details. details as possible. So you said you're like go see it with a girl. A girl will love it. And I was like, okay, there's a girl I know who might dig it. So I texted her, and she was like, yeah, I'd love to come. And then as we were talking about it more and more. More, I was like, wait a second, this is sounding a lot like a date. <laughs> and I was like, so I was starting to like get kind of nervous about it in a way. Oh, no. And then on the and then on the day, I think she could got that sense from me. So then on the day, she was like, is it cool if I invite some of like our <laughs> friends? And I was like, sure. So then like on the way over there, and then everybody that I knew ended up coming to this movie, which <laughs> yeah. was this hilarious thing where I was just planning to go with this person. And then when I saw her, it was like slightly weird. Oh, and I was like, okay. this is strange. And then so she we were like. 
like bullshitting. It was a good time. She's sitting down next to me and we're Relaxed. watching it. And, yeah. and she brought one of her friends who I know, I know everybody really well. Yeah. And then so, but as we were watching the movie, she was so, because she, she's not a big horror person, she was so <laughs> upset emotionally by the film it's that she was like upsetting. almost like crying during it. And I was like, oh my God, I invited this person and they're crying. And then at a certain point, she just turns to me and she's like, I don't think I can take it. And she just stood up and like left like wow. halfway through the movie. And so then I just got drunk with the rest of the people. So it's this weird thing where it's like in wow. life, on life you're just like, well, I thought I was going to have one evening. Little did I know midsummer happened. And, and then I, she texted me later and it was totally fine. Oh, but it was, good. it was just that, that great moment where you're like, you invite someone to something and then I just felt it upsets them. It's, like to the point that they bailed. Like yeah. she was, and it was just like, but I was like, it was such, and then when I texted her about it later, she was just like talking about the, like the themes of the movie and was like, oh, it's such a good movie. It grew on you. She's like, I was just so overwhelmed in the moment. I just Damn didn't want to like, yeah, you know, I just, I couldn't, I, I just didn't want to like, I just didn't want to be around it. Um, and I was like, oh, hey, no problem. <laughs> there's some very uh, relatable uh, themes in the film for, oh my God. I think it's just, I'm just out of practice. Oh yeah. And no, the combination of this choice. So yeah, but a 10 out of 10 movie. I was thinking about that shit for days afterwards. Oh, I loved it. A long time. And, and then it was also such a cool experience because it was that thing where by the end of the night, I was just hanging out with my friends. We're getting drunk and I'm just like, wow, this was not how I thought <laughs> the day would go. Like I thought I was going to hang out with this chick who just didn't even, you know. And then And then she also like texted me being like, Thank you for inviting me. I had a great time and all that stuff. But it's just funny how... Oh, it's called uh, uh, Midsummer. 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 It's such a good movie. Like, holy fuck. And everyone, when we left the movie, you can tell you've seen a good movie when everybody... <laughs> I asked them, like, what did you think? This was the response of everyone. They're like... <sighs> yeah. Interesting... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so interesting movie you know it was like everyone and then i think it was maybe an hour later we were able to talk about it but we were also overwhelmed by just what we saw i think the seeing it in the theater was really good i don't yeah. know if i would have had the same impact alone so solid recommendation james thanks man yeah, no problem <laughs> was it uh there was a lot of fans there of it oh no i don't think it oh. was because you i think you happened to hit probably a certain i think that was the first showing of the director's cut yeah and there was people dressed up at my showing uh of characters in the film <laughs> which was very crazy to see and um and such a di just such a disassociative camera style like it felt i felt so kind of like removed almost from the character i yeah. was like with them but the, it was such an interesting movie so awesome awesome recommendation but it's just a, such a funny such a funny thing to be on this weird it's a really uh intense film oh my god but, terrible but not One in more. like a but not in like a kind of um i think also too because it's technically a horror movie you're sort of expecting it to turn into a horror movie it and doesn't. it and it never does but at the same time it what it's showing you is very horrific oh. And, terrible yeah. and like really fucks you up but it, but it is that sense where you're like how far is this movie gonna go like you just don't know very far and it does go far but not in the ways you think no. so it's it's you know it's in it's not a slasher it's not a jump scare kind of film it's a psychological uh, slow burn yeah. you know and you, and you think about like um you know there's that uncanny valley which is like that thing which with robotics it's like if something imitates a human being at a certain point it gets to be just fucking so weird I, that's how i felt about the movie where the movie was uncanny it was yeah. like the whole time it was like something realistic yeah like nothing i've ever seen before <laughs> so yeah man such a good you were totally right that i'd love it all right let's move on to the <laughs> So, oh man, I haven't seen that. I heard no. that's so fucking good. Nineteen seventeen. The, the cinematographer for that movie is a guy named Roger Deakins, and he's one of my heroes. Oh, he's yeah. one of the great sort of shooters. And apparently, that movie visually is just insanity. It's so good. So that we played terribly today <laughs> on Amoeba Jump. I mean, we apologize. Yeah, we're just uh, to to Deanoid and everyone else. Um, next one is Arcade Pong, which I don't think we actually have played on the show. And I believe this one is trying to imitate the look of the original Pong in the arcade. And I think it's, I'm quite wow. sure it's paddles. So uh, let me just try something first. Am I? You try move. No, oh, no, it doesn't. Are we going to not be able to do this? Let's see. 
I'd have to look up the instructions. Which, we have so many games today, I don't have any of them written down. Yeah, it's because it's kind of a mixtape type game, type day, you yeah. know? And I don't think we played this on the show. And the mouse is not working. And you can't move at all, up, down? No, I'm trying to... Why isn't the mouse working? Yeah, um, he's the guy, the cinematographer is, does, does all the Coen Brother movies. Yeah. Um, and so, like, No Country for Old Men is one of my favorite movies, and, and just beautiful. Yeah, like, if we listed out the, the, all the movies that Roger Deakins has done, you'd be like, oh, the, I, yeah, yeah, I know all of those. They're all amazing. <laughs> so, one second. Uh, arcade Pong. Arcade Pong. Tell Stella to use paddles if you should have any analog input. I don't know. Well, I have the mouse. Um, oops. Controller. Oh, there we go. It just was not told to use paddles. Thank you very much. It's probably Thrust, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks, Thrust. Oh, still nothing from my end. Nothing from here on the mouse either. What is happening? Should be picking it up. The pixel's coming in. You're gonna help us? Pixel's gonna fucking solve this problem. <laughs> but yeah, man, a movie like Midsummer makes you learn something about your friends. That's that's really where things get cool. Go input dialogue. I don't know what this means. But I'm just. Repeating. Well, input dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, grab mouse in emulation mode. Yeah, it was grabbing the mouse, which is good. Um, let's try this now that I've changed that. Cool. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, no. nope. No luck. No luck here. Hi. Are you helping? Hopefully there's no settings. Let's see, I need the difficulties. Oh, oh, there we go. Wait, oh, man, so at least we got the... There we go. At least we got the mouse going. Of course, we only have one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, you we know have we, two mice. You know what we need is some ram pong, man. We need... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look, I might be able to hit it, because it, the ball happened to bounce. Whoa. It, there we go. This is uh, this is the most low stakes ponging of all time. Oh, this is look at this. Hit it back. This is called AFK pong. There we go. Oh no, not anymore. Is there a computer player option? I don't think there is. No, there's no options whatsoever. It is just playing it. You really need some paddles. Well, I have paddles. I would need an adapter to plug into the computer. Plug into the computer. And, and, then, and then we want to get, get that. and we want to get the thing fixed. It's yeah, like, which I haven't any time to do or knowledge. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> AFK go. Pong, it's right. gonna begin. Oh, the this... goal of AFK Pong <laughs> is to bounce it so it can hit off of Oops. that one. That was just terrible for this. You want to try to keep it going as long as possible. That's it's right. a different kind oh, of pong. No, dude, get it. No. <laughs> now it's gonna go to him. No 2600 adapter. No, I do not have that because it's, I've always had the real 2600 working, so I've never had a need for that. Until um, now. Yeah, and that's... In front of the stream of... <laughs> so this there you is, go. You'll have to play it on your own. It's, it's akin to teaching when you're, like, in front of a class and then, like, the computer program isn't working. And it's yes. like, of course, this is... Of course it's not working. This is when this happens. So we're going to move on to the next one. Sorry to the developer of that, that I could not do it justice. Um, we're going to be on caverns. And make sure you change back the, the, oh. the thing. I think it's per per game. Yeah. Oh, nope. I'm moving it with the mouse. <laughs> and I can move it as well. It's just interesting. Oh, no. Okay. So the mouse just happens to work. Okay. Okay. So have you played this one before? I remember this one. Yeah, you were really good at it. It's like a puzzle game almost. Yeah, it is a puzzle. The enemies move in patterns. Um... It does look and sound nice, and it does... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I remember. I kind of have to remember where they go. Yeah, this is such a good one. And I believe the first one is to the left. 
Shooting them doesn't help as much as you think. Oh yeah, because they just they come just back. So you really have to make it to a safe zone. Oh yeah, that's right, and kind of let him come in. Yeah, let him come in, stay out of his way, then get over to oh, the yeah, next screen. Oh yeah, because like he will. I think if I remember correctly, you can just chill here. Yeah, and then and then at, and then I as think soon at the bottom, as bottom, and then as soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. He shoots as soon as he sees you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, because these. The thing about these games, man, is you almost got to get into the mode of playing them. Let's stay here. Fine. How are you doing? I'm like, I hate you. I hate you so much. There's the safe. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't think this is the right direction. Uh, oh, I can't remember now. It might be. No, that's there's nothing here. Yeah, maybe you have to shoot him? To get... Well, no. you might want to try that. Let's see. Or it's like a level opens up. Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh, and he just reappears? Yeah, you're right. There's like, no why? point in shooting. Him. Except for points, I guess. Oh, shit. I just, yeah, you have I, to sit. I crashed into it. It's bad news. Oh, oh yeah, you pop Not over. Trick. You remember. Is Arcade Pong 2K or this one? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Just 2K and size. Well, I can tell you this one. Let's find out. This is a 2K game. This oh, is unbelievable. Dude, this is a great game. I remember playing this one, and yeah, it was a, it was a whole operation. I'm starting to remember it now because we spent a good hour, even probably even hour and a half on this game. This oh, is a yeah. very deep one. It's a really good one. Now you um, went up. Yeah, I, I, I believe that okay. um, to the left is the way to go. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think you're pretty sure. Here. Yeah. And I need to get over here. Get out of the way. Yeah, and then I think you gotta get into that one next. Jesus. Yeah. And and then there's I don't remember. Yeah. This guy traverses pretty much the whole thing, so I need to get over there. Quick. I think those are usually safe. All the little alcoves. Yeah. Because they don't go in them. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Yeah, because this is what we need, right? Because you need that thing. Except don't that you? guy does. That's right to the beginning. Oh, yeah, and this guy attacks you fucking directly. Damn. <laughs> so you can't sit on that one. Oh, my God. Man, I just reflect more and more on, like, the thing, you know, we were talking about last Wednesday. It's just, again, it's like, man, what makes a good game is not the yeah. processor or size or anything. Like, this is an awesome game. It's 2K, Unbelievable man. Unbelievable for 2K. And it's, you need so much skill. Yeah, what we, what the challenges of these things are, man. I think it's design challenges. Yeah. Just designing a good game, that's the hard thing. You know, whatever means you do is like, that's your kind of, that's almost like your uh, stamp, so to speak, you know? Yeah. That's your voice. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> New tactic. I think we figured out last time that firing is like, Sure. Yeah, it's like why would you? You'll delay. Yeah, it for this a is like a bit. stealth game. Yeah, is what that's the, right. Is what yeah. this is. This is like some dishonored, you know. But I mean, you can shoot them; it'll reset them. And, yeah, and I can see that being. Well, very there's some useful. benefits, like when you're entering into a thing that you've never seen. Like now, this makes yeah. a lot of sense. Oh yeah. Or like. Whoa! Jesus. Yeah, this fucker. The walls kill you, which is like next level. Yeah, I'm gonna do this a little bit more. Oh, of course, yeah. So we can at least maybe kill that first guy. Yeah. Get back in the zone, you know. That's right. And then I think it it reuses the maze for when you have to do the next part, but puts the the object. Oh, this joystick. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go to the left, and it was like, no, you're going down into the left. Button. Also, psychologically. It's one of those really hard things too when you're playing games. When in your brain you're thinking like, "Man, we got to do this fast so that we can show it," yeah. and that's never when you're this gonna is, perform your best. Yeah, this is not. Oh, dude, that's that's fairly. Uh... Yeah, that's. Yeah. Oh, no one will blame you for that one. <laughs> no. Because seriously. I just went too quick into where I wanted to go. But yeah, I just think about that a lot. I've been like, um, I guess like I've been doing a lot of writing 
I'm, I can't talk about what I've been writing, but it's like I've been trying to get into the head of a very high performing person, like someone who's very, right. you know, and, and just thinking a lot about like there's man, the head games in these things is tough. Like being being an athlete, being like a high, God. really good gamer, you have to be both yes. patient, at, but at the same time precise. But at the, so it's like you know, I think the mental headspace you're in is everything. Can the debris from the enemy shoot? you shoot kill you if you run into it that's a very good question oh, i'm guessing question. it would just because i'm guessing this would use hardware uh collision just because it's 2k um, um so the debris would does it linger for a bit the debris really look oh, it does does it does linger so oh yeah yeah so i yeah you have to be careful and not run into debris I mean, that happens in Bosconian, too, when you hit a mine. Uh, oops. I have to follow him back. Yeah, that's the... And then you probably shoot as you enter, because in all honesty... Oof. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you do shoot as you enter. <laughs> but that, but that's the thing. It's so hard, right? Like, it's in your head, you're thinking, I gotta do this fast. It's gonna... You're yeah. gonna take more risks. But then, sure. it's really hard, you know? Fast? This is not a fast This is a patient... Game. Patient game. <laughs> and and it's like um, it's like Robot City, Thomas's game. Yeah. They shoot you on sight. Yeah. It's just psh. like look at that. <laughs> this. It's like yeah, I see you. Yeah, this is a stealth game. That's how I think of this thing. You know. Totally stealth. I mean, they're dumb robots. They're like, oh, I, I know where you are, but I, I have my routine to go do my route. <laughs> yeah. And they're still effective, even even them doing that. See, what was I what was I doing before to get over there? I must be just heading over there quick. Yeah, it's just it's just. Uh, I think this game is all timing. Getting better. Not. <laughs> Thanks, thrust. <laughs> Yeah, this is all timing, this fucking yep, game. it is. It's just like knowing when to do what. I just stop firing. Yeah. Because I'm concentrating too much on shooting them. Yeah, because you gotta kind of... If they start shooting at you, the best thing to do is dodge it. What the hell? Maybe I would go up instead. On that no, it's screen. just patience, man, this fucker. It's like, just chill out here until he goes. Yeah. You know, one piece at a time and then immediately hide, let him pass, and then your goal is just to get to that next one. That's what I did. That... It's a joystick. It's messing with me. Yeah. Wait, wait till that green guy goes. Exactly. Follow him out. <laughs> and immediately crash into the wall. Yeah, man. Okay, it's the last go, whether or not I make it. But yeah, I think a lot of gaming is muscle memory. A lot of it is like getting used to sort of like... The thing, I think that's why a lot of people get really addicted to one game, because they love being able to kind of like put it in, in their memory, you know? Because um, I, th I think it's the same thing with, with athletics, it's the same with a lot of things where it's like, you know, I remember hearing someone talking about this, um, you know, there's this... This uh, this Mayweather Conor McGregor fight is crazy MMA stuff, and the problem was was they were talking about the huge disadvantage an MMA guy had in boxing was that he didn't have the muscle memory of mm. years of practice. And the problem is is it's like the the analogy that was described to me was you know you don't have to think about tying your shoelaces that takes you no energy. Yes. But the second that if if you had to do it like a like a shoelace tying contest with someone who's tied the shoelaces <laughs> forever and that's just they've got the muscle memory of just what that feels like well then it's like they have an advantage over you because they don't have to oh yeah this is one where you just do I have to shoot it? Oh, oh my god. Oh damn. Okay, let's see if we can get to it. <laughs> But it's that thing where it's like, like you think about like that guy, like who is, what was his name, uh, who fucking crushes a kaboom, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like that dude has got that game in his memory. Like he doesn't he have to. He doesn't moves. have to think about like, 
oh, what's the kind of this, and it's what's the that, you know, and you think of these master people at games, I mean, they're, they're working at such a high level because they don't have to think about, like, how to tie their shoelaces, so to speak, like, what the controller is, what the tactics are, you know? Yeah, they just know it, they feel it. Yeah, and it's like, and, I'm, and when they talk about, like, the zone or whatever the zone is, it's like, that's the moment where, like, you don't have to think about what you're doing, you can just do it. You know, and it's like that's that's a tough part about like picking up a game right away, but also the fun of it as well. I think there's a real addiction people get sometimes to just playing the same thing over and over again because we like that flow state of feeling like we're an expert in something, but at the same time you gotta fuck around and do badly before you can get good. So it's like this hard thing. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Now you go. <laughs> um. I think now you go up. <laughs> oh God. And, and then it resets, I believe. Yeah, no, it but keep... it, it keeps the thing because oh, now a new yeah. one's unlocked. Or mm, I think yeah, it's it actually does. to the it's... right. I think it's to the right. Down to the right? Yeah, if I, I could yeah, be wrong, I but so. I think it's either that or it's up. We'll figure it out. Time machine, anyone? Yeah, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> so we're... true. Now, we, the, if we time machine now. everything, we'll have to, like... We're good now. Yeah, because there's a pattern to this fucker, yeah, so. you know? But that's the thing too is like you know once you figure out the pattern it's like a lot easier you know but it's 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 interesting I feel like it's kind of like playing a game is like figuring out how Here much how much you're taxed so to speak you know and this guy's just gonna reset so you're just gonna get it yeah this guy shoots yeah oh fuck <laughs> but it's <laughs> but okay it. you got it so now you just gotta go up yeah you know and that's interesting now that we figured this out if we played it a couple more times we'd be fine. Yeah, but it's just, it's hard because you got to start by, you got to th learn how to tie your shoelaces again, you know? And you're like, and then you remember how well you did when we were when we were playing <laughs> this for like two hours, and you're like, yeah. why can't I just, you know? It's so why can't I pick it up again in two minutes? Yeah, because some things are like, but this is a neat one because it's not like a bicycle, because it is part skill, part memorization. Yeah. It is a, a, a bit more of a difficult one. So like, yeah, you don't want, you want to just hide from this guy because yeah, you okay. can't kill Whoa. him. Yeah, and you don't know where he's going to be. Yeah, so the, I think the trick to this one is you want to kind of, um, you want to get there. to the one on the left. And then yeah. go to the top, and then get to that one. Exactly. So he just goes up That's... to the right, and then he goes down to the right, down to the left, and then up, and then he goes down. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, because, no, you don't have to go there. You could just bl get hide from the block, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to. That might be easier. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, yeah, what's in my brain there. when we get there. Oh, he says, what game is this one? Left to eat lunch. What's this one called? Oh, this one is called Cavern? Cavern. It's a cool one. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Okay, so you don't have to hide. If you think about it, if you... Oh, he doesn't go. Down, so you can just hide behind that behind. big block yes. on the left. That's oh, all you got to okay. get to. You just have to, like... Yeah, so then if you just go up, yeah, you're good now. Yeah. And that's all you need to do. So it's... And then just book it. So he's, like, there, and then now he's going to go there, and, then and now you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and these ones are like kamikaze. It's like. God. Okay. There well, we got, go. We actually we showed off enough. The I got three, three of things. them. Three out of four, of the first level. That's a cool game, but yeah, this is a hard one because you you you. Beautiful th stealth game. Yeah. Once you rem once you learn the like the pattern of these levels and whatnot, it takes a second though. Yeah. Oh, I think your mouse knocked it and it died. Oh, sorry. No, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's grabbing mouse mice now. Uh, now we're going to play Death... This is, by, this is Caverns by Harold Thiessen. And we're going to play Death Race by Michael Salzman next. Yay! I don't think I've played this one before. Death Race, man. Fucking... I don't think... Have we played this on the show, this, this one? This feels like an 80s movie with synth and, like, um, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> you know, like, I just... It does. <laughs> I don't think we've played this on the show. So this will be the first with, time. With, like... It's the year 1998, you know? That's it's right. Like... Made in the 80s, but it's 98. It's future. future. <laughs> yeah, this is Death Race. Oh, we... No, we did. We must have. Whoa, what's this? I gotta just... Whoa. Okay, okay. Gotta so... kill, kill, and kill some more. Oh, do I run these guys down? Yeah, Death oh, Race. Oh, it's the Death Race, man. Fuck. Oh, well, at what... least the walls don't kill you. Whoa, so like, what's the goal? Is it how can I die? Oh, or is it two points. Is it how fast I can kill Actually, these this is people? A two player game. So let's. Okay. Let's get two players going. Whoa, what a weird. Oh, so it's like to turn is like left and right, but up and down doesn't turn you. That's interesting. 
crazy controls, man. I feel like... Is it directional or is it turning? It's just turning. So the cool part Left about... Left and right? Cats. Kittens. <laughs> Knocking things over. So, like, how do I win, lose? You got nine. I, I just... think it's a point. Just straight up points. Just um, see how many I can do? I think like... there's a time limit. Ah. Oh. Right? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Right out of time. Guys. Wow. Yeah, this is one of those games that would, like, Freak 14. Oh, there we go. Let's do it. I'm red. Ah, oh, cool. Carolyn is... We got the right names? One second. Do we? I thought about that. I don't think we do. Nobody said anything. Let's see. I'm still grabbing my... Your mouse. My mouse. That's great. Oh, nobody, or maybe somebody did say something, but... I love it, man. I can be Tanya today, you know. We can change my name, my gender. There we go. Okay. Sick. Death race. So now it's like a, comp a score competition. Oh, I have an advantage hell? because I got to practice these weird-ass controls. Because these controls are like... They take a second to sort of, like, calibrate. Ew. Like, it's, it's, they're weird. They're, like, they're good. I don't mean weird as in bad. I just mean, like, it takes a second or two to, like, learn. Actually, yeah. if you notice, if you go on an angle... Go a bit faster. You go faster. Whoa. Death race tactics. <laughs> Already getting the tactics. The year 1998. <laughs> the world is in shambles. Blood racing is the new thing. High stakes, money, fortunes are won and lost, lost. on the streets. <laughs> it's a fucking death, death race. My, so ra my racing days 20? are over. <laughs> 20 to 8. Oh my god, you trounced me. My racing days are over. I'm just a <laughs> truck <have> driver. <laughs> I'm, those are in the past. But they have your family, John. <laughs> Gotta, gotta step back, back, in back into the ring. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the last man who stepped into that ring, he died, John. I have no choice. <laughs> My family's at stake. Cliche line after cliche line. Oh man, and it's I love their like trailer lines. It's it's like a whole genre of shit, you know. <laughs> they are. Just being like, just these fucking these like one-liners that like, and you can see them in the movie, and they're so weird. It's like people just setting them up. Oh yeah, I'm sure they do that for films, right? They, oh yeah. They go, okay, this is a trailer line. Actually, they do. They sh I've heard they shoot just for the trailer. Yeah, that's so, okay. Like the let's do the trailer line now. Let's get this bit done. Yeah, be you. I remember the movie Death Race 2000. Cool. Is that a movie? Um, maybe that's why I'm thinking about it. That's why I'm fucking around. Teres said I nominated 8 out of the 10, which can be voted on now. This one this one was one, one of the, the other, other two, two that he didn't nominate. I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, good. Cool. Damn, we got, some, a, we got some racing in. It's, it's so fun, good. I, I love two-player games. Yeah, and, and that's... there's truly not enough of them. Well, this is a nice, like, this is sort of a, uh, this is the wrong thing, but it just pops in my head. This is like Fortnite style in the sense of that it's like, you've got ten minutes, you're gonna yes. do a thing, and then when that's done, it's done, and there's another. In this case, it's like, I don't know, like two minutes, one minute. Yeah. I, I, I didn't time minutes. it. But it's kind of like, yeah, and then you just push and see how much you can do, and that, that rinse-repeat cycle is like very addictive shit, for sure. VH said C. VH said C is do re mi. Well, all oh, this shit. I don't remember this. I, I don't mean shit in terms of the game. I mean shit is in like my nightmare. It's just the shit is a reflection of me and my insecurities, not you, VH yeah. said C. If you're watching, this, this one's a tough go. Oh <laughs> it's god. It's a tough go. Oh. <laughs> this one's a Twitch game, as in you need some uh, Twitch muscle memory to to get it going. So or a bit of luck. Yep, so you're trying the to problem is, is the one on the left is so much faster. Yeah. What, left and right. If you saw, I had no ones on the left, so <laughs> I did well for a little bit. Okay, let me do one more. So what was your score?
scores going off the screen. The problem with this game is like hard to like even score it. I remember you maxed it out and got like a ridiculous <laughs> just score. Thousands uh, yeah, thousands. because you kind of cuz it, it's cumulative. It goes like this the scoring. And points. then if you do well, it rewards you and it punishes you for being bad. Like <laughs> yeah. fuck, man. I so if you're good, you get huge scores. See, if you're terrible, it just you're done. What I think this game oh, truly God. tests between the two of us is like the old school new school gamer in the sense of that like the games that like are new that i grew up on are not fast twitch you know precise shit it's like you fucking wander around and grind Jeez. for items and like you know like yeah. you know you wander around fucking skyrim like it's i feel like games these days are so much more chill so i don't have those oh, like so those same skills versus all you think about all these old school games like pong or any of the stuff we're playing it's like it's, it's all quick. precision fast you know, it's more athletic in a way. Like you have to have it. You have to have some like actual like physical skill. Oh, this joystick is not helping. No, it's a tough one. This is so precision. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is my favorite game to just like <laughs> fucking mess with your <laughs> head. This will make you you like. This is the equivalent of arm wrestling at a party. You know. <laughs> yeah. You think you're so good, and then... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's it's definitely... Dude, I don't know what Carl good... means. He says cosmic arc skills can help here. Uh, there's a, an old school game, an original, you know, from back in the day. Uh, cosmic arc, where you go... <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you explain Cosmic Arc as you're doing this might not be <laughs> the most kind. I got thing. one note. Oh my god. That left one though. That's the. It's hard. That's the Achilles heel of this operation. You know, that's the chink in our armor. Yeah. It's just like you. You think you're doing so well. Bam! Comes from the left. You know. Like, see, you did so well because it wasn't from the left for a while. Yeah. Oh man, Death Race 2000 came out in 1975. David Carradine and Sylvester Stallone. So I was just actually, right I was right that Sylvester Stallone was in it. I thought I was being like a complete. I was like, I was like, I'm being really funny right now. I'm, I'm, I'm being year, so creative. I'm guessing it's supposed to be set in 2000. That's right. <laughs> so two years off there, but you got the right actor. I got the things right. What's his name? If his name's John, then I am a hack. It's gotta be John. It has to be John. Tell me, tell us what the name is, Dan. Oh man, that's so funny that I just recounted a plot of goddamn made up a complete plot based that, on the uh, name. Off was a real movie. I'm pr I'm sure I saw it in like a video because I used to like one of my big hobbies was I would walk around video stores. That was my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I didn't have many friends, so like after school, I would go over oh. to the video store and like walk around and think about like what would because there was this place called Movie Studio that would sell four movies you could rent four movies for like uh, a week for the price yeah. of three or you could rent like a movie for like a day so i would just walk around and figure out what four movies i'd get for that week and the thing was was that i would just spend forever looking at titles of work. things because it was you know what i mean you go and yeah. you look and you pick it up look at the so, cover read the back of it so i bet you i probably saw death race 2000 at some point because i know i've never seen the movie but i'm sure that i, I so somewhere deep in my fucking subconscious I pulled that shit out from my movie studio days of just looking around being like, but that was a cool thing about video stores back in the days. You would kind of pick like what you were going to take home with you, you know? Nowadays, you don't have that. You just sort of It already is all at home. Yeah, and it was a, it was like a big thing. I would spend an hour sometimes just waiting. Today is not the day for this game. No, VHZC man. VHZC has, has, has gone on record saying, saying that his games are too hard. Yeah. And he's, he has lightened up in, in his... Uh... But did you ever used to do video store days like oh, that where you would be time. like... Blockbuster. Well, and I wouldn't like... go to not rent a film. I was. I would always go to rent a film. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would go either. Um, Cosmic Arc. Um, you are a spaceship collecting. Uh, I believe the uh, premise of it is you're going around different planets collecting different animals for your Cosmic Arc, and you would go down to the surface and suck people, suck the animals up into your arc, and there'd be a laser going up and down on the surface but the part that this relates to is when you get back off the surface is that 
your spaceship is in the center of the screen and there's asteroids coming from the top, bottom, left and right exactly like this. And you would have to shoot them instead of blocking them. But it's the same, same premise. Actually, it's a little bit different because you could shoot them way off in the distance. This one, you have to stay until the note hits. And I think I, I you did okay with that one. I'll try yeah. one more and then we're done. Because we got to... Yeah. That was just miscalculation. And uh, Death Race 2000, there was an arcade game, so that's technically a port, where people were outraged at the violence. And it was pretty much what you saw when wow. we played the Death Race. Okay, moving on. That is a hard, hard game. That's a fun game, but though. It's, it's, it's fun. So he did, he did have an easier version, I think, or less, at least I'm playing terribly today. Okay, and we're going to play Dog Walk. Oh fuck yeah! Remember I think I think I remember Dog Walk. I could have I could be wrong and mixing it up with something else. Yeah, this shit. This is really good. This, this is really got hard. Great music. So take a oh. listen to the music for a second. It's grabbing my mouse. That's making me crazy. Oh, not always. Not always. There we go. Only on mouse games. That way. will help. Oh yeah, this is a hard one. This is a fun one. Check out the music on this. I think it repeats, but... This is really, really cool wow. short loop of music. This one is, uh... Okay, go for it. You got you, you got your dog. Oh, yeah, and he you follows can, you. You can make him follow or not follow you. Oh, yeah, and if you hold you it You have to down. protect yourself and the dog. I'll so remember this So you can kind of place one. him and then call him over to get him out of the way of the falling... I think um, I remember this. Deadly snowflakes? Deadly uh, radioactive waste, I think? Oh, yeah, I remember there's a real tough glass ceiling in this one. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, because... When they start... They start arcing, it's just a different story. Yeah, 27. Whoa, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, you don't get any call. You, you, you're just, just stuck. You're done. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a fun game. I done. remember this one. Yeah, and very, very unique concept, which is which is the great part about this game, is the concept is, like, and, and the animation, the like, the look of the characters, the premise, it's just such a really cool, um, simple, simple, simple game. Let's see if I do any better than 27. So Dan says there's a death race game in an, an arcade near him. Whoa. Yes, and uh, one goes towards you, and one goes towards the dog, and it's the color. So the, the brown one goes towards the dog, the blue one goes towards you, because that matches, and the green one always goes straight down? Yeah, goes straight down towards the grass, because it's matching. I remember this game. This 53. is a really, this is like, this is a 55. fun game. What's 56. going on? So, oh, it's, the score is how long you last. Yeah, it's really just like a timer. Oh, now it's the fast, fast. Yeah, now ones. it's like next level. Fast and straight. Now, I think as soon as it starts going fast in angles, that's, that's the ceiling where it, it gets really challenging. Here we go. Oh, it's not, it's not arcing too, too badly though. Oh, oh, I just miscalculated the yeah, wrong. 89. That's decent. Not bad. Not bad. That's decent. Yeah, but I do miss video stores, man. I When I was a little kid, or I shouldn't say a little kid when I was a teenager, I, I thought that my life, that couldn't, that would just be the greatest job in the world, to <laughs> just be at a video store. Like, I mean, talk about being like 16, right? You think yeah. that's all life is about, but I remember thinking that would have been... I was like, man, what else do you need? You just work at a video store. That would be a very cool job. I mean, I got my kind of dream job working at a, a comic book store. Oh, see, that would be awesome, yeah. too. So that was that was pretty cool. I worked at two different comic book stores. And Darcy runs like a like a like a like a game store, right? Yeah, a board game store. Yeah, yeah. that's got to be a dream job, too. Yeah. So that it's like tabletop games and um, also dice games and card games and puzzles and, and just general board games that everybody yeah. knows yeah that's a that's a cool job so because 
if you can involve some like it's a t double edged sword when you're working at a place of something you like. Yeah. Because no, no. Oh, because you can't get away from it then. It's yeah. not a hobby. You're forced to do it all the time rather than oh it's an optional thing. Hey man, Trey guy put something funny. He's a six. Oh, oh, Thrust said six digit score question mark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then they're like, the, and the response Good was it's just Batari basic, probably standard. Standard. Kernel. It's just hilarious. Yeah, to think that someone's like, man, I'm breaking a hundred k today on <laughs> Doc Walk. <laughs> it's like fucking ninety I years. I think you, you could totally do the math because it seems like you could. It's I a standard. Don't, I don't think it's a second. I mean, it feels a little slower than a second to me. I could be wrong though. It might be exactly it's a, a second. About a second. Um, yeah. But but yeah, you know, hundred thousand seconds. I mean, <laughs> divide yeah. that by sixty. I'm not, my math out. ain't. I can't do that on the fly. But you can figure out how many minutes that is. Oh, now it's into fast mode. Yeah. So. And like this is a luck game in some level too. But it's nice because I've learned that the colors correspond to what you're doing. Yeah. So that that was we what unlocked this out. game. Because I remember we figured that out last time. Because for example, this one now has potential to arc. The yes, the one that's the soon. issue is the dog arcing one. So yes. whenever an orange one appears, I watch it. Yeah, and then I try to make sure that it, yeah. you can like. That'll be eleven days. Yes, eleven days of dog walk. <laughs> Fuck Go yeah. for the marathon. <laughs> just uh, imagine that too. You do eleven days of dog walk, and you just emerge from your cage. You go to Seven Eleven, and you're just like, "Man, I really did it!" <laughs> like, what would you? What would yeah. you? What would you That's do to your, celebrate? Your crowning glory, your life's achievement is yeah, uh, being six the... digits of dog walk. I mean, there's there's certainly crazier things to do, but. Hey, Whoa, cats, these guys are... you need to calm yourself. Whoa. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, thanks for doing the math, Trey, guy. Yeah, I couldn't. Really I can't do that on the fly. I I, can, I, could, I could give the equation, I just can't. Uh... I'm sure there's people out there who have memorized how many seconds in a day. <laughs> That's not life achievement, it's death achievement. Yeah, yeah you'll be on your deathbed, you're surrounded by your family, you're just like, the dog walk, remember to keep <laughs> the tape safe. <laughs> keep the recording safe. Post it, it's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, and... and it's what was not... Dad talking oh, about? <laughs> just... One more. Something about a dog? <laughs> He misses his dog. <laughs> and, and not even like, yeah, 11 days, but you have to practice enough to get good <laughs> this at true, man. this game to play 11 days straight. So oh. think about the amount of time you'd have to invest in dog walk. Okay, I move my dog. Man, Ooh, if anyone does that, I'm buying him a beer. I just, I wanna, I just wanna talk to that guy. I just wanna know what that person's like, you know, the the eleven day dog walk marathoner. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Talk about getting in a zone. Oh yeah. You're on like day five and you die. <laughs> You're like, fuck! I gotta just wait. I gotta like <sighs> literally do another five days. <laughs> But I find a lot of the 4K under and under games are like oh, just one more game. Oh, type totally. Of games. They're so good in that way where they're just. I mean, this is in some ways the true like talk about like you know the the the, the pong you know just being like elegant and simple yeah. and that elegance and simplicity is actually so addictive. It's like they're you know? easy to understand. You can pick them up really quickly, but it's the mastering of them, all the yeah. nuances that I go mean, into the strategy of the game. I mean, I'm so fucking into like pen alt, man. Like, I'm so stoked to like grind <laughs> out that stuff. But at the same time, there's something about the simplicity of these sort of rinse repeat things where you're like, you know, and that really is it, man. Especially this and amoeba jump are kind of you get in that zone where you're oh, like, yeah. oh, I can I can beat get my score, you know? No, 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 no. Oof. I gotta get a hundred, and it, and they, and they get really hard. And this one's a really nicely balanced one. Dog's nose almost got it. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's tough because you got to make decisions, but you also don't know. Like move. this is a tough one, right? Because yeah. yeah. Now it's gonna start moving. Yeah. There we yeah. go. That's far enough away. Yeah, 
those are far enough away. That's far enough away. Yeah. That may not be. Well, this is oh, cool because yeah. it's sort of at the end of the day, it 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 is just um uh there is just an RNG element at a certain there, point. Like, there it is. Just, like, where like, are you in relation to? And where did that? they spawn? And I mean, it's. I like that they don't have the same color. Oh, 98. It's okay. We got to move enough. on. There you go. You must live stream such a marathon. Well, if we could do infinite dog walk, we probably would. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about Time Machine Man for your 10-day <laughs> marathon. Uh, Hugo Hunt 4K. And we played this extensively pretty recently, so I'll, <coughs> I'll just let you play it. Okay, cool. And it is not an easy game. It gets hard quick. And it's it's an action puzzle. Uh, Hugo Hunt. Angel Soft. What a name. That's badass. Yeah. 14 levels, 7 levels. You see oh. one is... Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. That's yeah, not... Yeah, because we got a TSC. Cool. Not that that makes too much of a difference. Okay. So if you press a button, I'll tell you what's going on. So don't move. Okay. You got to get that ring. Okay. That's your end goal. That's my... Those bulls will kill you. Fuck. Unless you have that uh, triangle, which okay. will defeat one of them. The dots give you more movement. That green line is Whoa. movement. Uh, the key, each key unlocks one door. So, you got to first go get like one of those dots in there. And do these pursue me or? No. Okay. Nothing moves in this level. Later levels they do. So I should probably get my juice up, get that yes. key, unlock that thing. Get more juice, mm -hmm. go through one bowl, get the ring. There you go. And then get that key, right? Yeah. And maybe even get the other one down one. Does it give me more? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's probably not as good. But anyway, get the get the key. Um, yeah, you need more juice. Whoa. Oh, shit, I just unlocked it. So I think you have a key forever. No, the key's still there. You're good. Uh, oh. Don't get that one. Go get the uh, triangle. Yeah. And then, yeah, then go get what, a little bit more power. Now go to the top bowl, because you can't go through two. There you go. Damn, cool. Okay. This one's a little bit straight, more straightforward because it kind of leads you on a path. You can't go through that bowl, and so therefore there's only one other way to go. I feel like I gotta... Mm, should I get it? Um, I'm thinking I might need it for later. This one, you're probably not going to go back to that. So, either way. So the numbers now, you have to get important. one first, then two, then three... Doing wrong moves actually takes you down, so careful when you hit the walls. Ah, oh, makes sense. Uh, so, so I'm thinking get the key, or I'm thinking I should get the things first, right? Because well, you have to get that that dot, then get the key. But I'm it, but I'm almost two. but I'm almost full, it, and I might yeah. need that key for the way back. I'm gonna take a risk. Yeah, I, I think, think you have enough room. I yeah. think I go should go up, get two, three, go back down, get the dot. Yeah, you have enough room. Oh yeah, plenty of room. And then you get the four, and then you get the ring. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. somebody's going to pursue you on this level. You got to... <sighs> Whoo, okay. And you're dead. Oh, so that's just <laughs> it. Okay, so yeah, it's actually so that... Get it's that right rough. Away. Oh shit, and I gotta go back and. Yep. Ah, oh, rip! <laughs> this is a hard level because there's no time to look. Hugo Hunt! Oh shit. And I'll do a quick one. Okay, cool. Just so we can take a look at that level. Um, can you make it all the way to the key? Yeah, but now you can't make it nope. back. <laughs> nope. Let's just reset, so. Or Hold on, not. I gotta use the um, I gotta use the bathroom. Sure. I'm just gonna quickly go pee at me right now. Yeah. There we go. And 
this one is very straightforward. It's actually easier than the first level, I think, because there's not many choices to make. Did do it the right way? I think you can still make it going like this. Yeah. Barely. Let's see if I can remember how to do this next level. Stay down. Get that. Get that. Get that. No, you have to get the... Oh my god. Yeah? Are you the new co-host? Oh shit, you're doing well on this one. Better than me, man. We'll see. Oh no. Did I mess up? Let's see, don't, he's... don't, don't, don't. Get him to get away from that. Psst, psst. Buddy, that's not for you to eat. Yeah, just keep an eye on that bad cat. Yeah, I will do, man. <laughs> he's trying to eat your USB. Yo. Yeah, that's his worst habit, man. Yeah. He's bad with that. Uh, he chews through thin... One step away. Choose through with thin cables. Luckily, that one has a bit more strength to it. Ooh, we should have gone underneath. Oh, you made it! Yeah. This that level is harder than the second level. It's hilarious, right? This one's almost like hard, like not to survive. Yeah. Because you you have like I was being clever and you had more than enough. Oh, plenty. Like I did this last time and. Oh, really? Totally fine. Oh, that's messed up. You shouldn't be able to do that. No, they should have planned it out. So and then now it's like next level. Now it's like. Brutal. It's like a, it's like expert level challenge, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's fucked up because you can't do that. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know how you. Oh yeah, that's the way it's done. Oh, good work. It's brutal. It's a brutal what? level. Now is this the same shit or is it? Now it's um, back to a maze. Hopefully. Back to a maze, but no ch chasing ghosts. And somebody said there's an option in this game to make to put a ghost on every level, Ooh. which is like, well, you, you can go for that if you are hardcore. You're masochistic. But, um, That's like um, they have teleports. They have this thing called Ranger Mode. Yeah. Um, in a lot of games, and what Ranger Mode is is they use no HUD. I feel like that's oh, the equivalent to Ranger yeah. Mode. In all honesty. Up. Yeah, because I think you needed that one. <laughs> um, yeah, because now you need to somehow get back to two, which is <laughs> which is impossible. Which is not gonna happen. No. But anyway, you you get the idea with this game. Well, maybe actually. actually yeah. Fuck. Long way around. Pixel. Do you, do you have the? Yeah, just go for it, man. You got it. Pixel. Psst. Do you want me to pull him down? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, is there an escape? I can't hard. see. Oh, I'm gonna die. Sorry, I love you so much. Show me shut the door and just pull it. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna have to happen. <laughs> These cats are out of control. Yeah, man. I don't. It's like they're trying to eat your cores. They're trying to fucking knock out all your collection of uh, retro game consoles. Yeah. In this one, you're like on two sides. Whoa. What was he doing? We could not see. Hey, you're you're gonna get killed. Oh no, dude! He was just climbing up and trying to like get into like these small spaces and. Oh no. 
think I'm gonna do. Just two, grab two. Oh shit. I, I can't. I think... Messed up. I didn't think about this one. You have no time to think about it. Anyway. <laughs> it's okay. We got that one. It's a great oh, puzzle Hugo action game. Hunt. That's a good one. In the second... Oh, in the second round, there will be a ghost in every level. You had the key. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. We were just... He was talking, and it happened. Cat distractions. Yeah, we're kind of just blazing through these games today. Yeah. We're not, we're not going too deep into it. Um, so, the next game is Miss Galactopus, which is a space shooter. Oh, wrong way. Ms. Ms. Galactopus. So, uh, in this one, you have to shoot the top one with the bow, cool. Ms. Galactopus. Uh, she'll send down her babies oh, to distract you. That's sad. It okay. is. Very sad. And don't let the babies touch the uh, blue, or else they'll eat away at your protective shield. But you do have to shoot Ms. Galactopus to get further in the game. There you go. And as you shoot her, she'll get higher on the screen, and, uh, and eventually you'll drive her off the screen. But she sacrifices her babies. Whoa, <laughs> this is dark. Turn off the phosphor effect, it just drags, makes everything other. Hey! Destroy! In your face, Miss Galactopus? <laughs> Galactopus. Wow. A galactic octopus. Um, they make good use of the two sprites and the horizontal levels to give her a bow. I'm a cephalopod fan myself, you know? <laughs> me, and, me and these cephalopods have... Yeah. <laughs> well, you're at odds now. Oh... Very simple, straightforward shooter game. I mean, it's a 4K game. Um, I find it. I like space shooters, so I find it fun. Um, especially that she throws down her babies, but also uses them as shields most of the time too, because you can't. It's hard to get a shot in on her because it hits the babies. And I don't think you can actually hurt the babies till they start falling. That's true. I was. I've seen you. They just absorb the, absorb the bullets. In nice. your face. This is a lactopus. Oh, now it's a different wave. Drive them back. I think there's just a certain number of them on this wave. Is there like a time challenge to this one, or is it just? You're just getting them off the screen again, so you're, you're almost there. No, don't recall your bullets. Pressing the button again recalls it. Oh, I see. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think that was just a bonus stage, maybe? I think it must have been. That's like the... Whoa, these two take shots. two? Damn. Oh. Oh, the difficulty's starting to ramp up. You kind of have to catch her on the legs. Yeah, she, you kind of got to you got to catch her on like the way by, you know. But then she kind of dekes it out every once in a while. There, there we go. Are. It's a little. Th this one feels almost more like I gotta just get lucky, which is not what we want. But it's okay. Okay, me and the cephalopod. I like that spawning effect and sound. That doo 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 doo. Yeah, some good uh, good sound effects there. Octopuses are just cool, though, man. Oh, yes. It's just one of the coolest, like, creatures of all time, I think. So smart, so maneuverable. Oh, I didn't kill her. You did? Yeah, you no, did. I didn't. I oh. I just ran out of time, so I think I just really? didn't get as many points. Interesting. Oh. So, like... Oh, so there's, like, an objective of So time. it's possible... Yeah, see, that one I, I got through. Oh, shit. Oh, I just got lucky a couple times. Oh, more than a couple times I've been getting lucky. <laughs> See, when you're pressing the button too ah, quick, see? it doesn't get up to her. Oh, God, okay. I'm, I'm, I got a lot in, actually, but I just not really out of skill. See, another lucky hit. Yeah. Maybe we'll get this, this, this galactopus. <laughs> see, another nice. one. Good, okay. I thought the blue part gets smaller and smaller, but I didn't notice that yet. Oh, I see, I got her. That's a death. Yeah, but I, I, I think I just out-timed out of time. it. Yeah, because yeah, there's not much bonus you got there. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh. So I probably lost my bonus. Yeah. Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> now it's on. Shit just got real, friends. Holy fuck. Okay. Ah, ah. Oh no. Holy crap. Oh no. And her movement is more erratic? Yeah, and She's I. She's not going all the way across oh, now. I've just been getting lucky, you know? Oh, oh there shit. It goes. This is your last stand. New objective, stay alive. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like sometimes, defensive. sometimes, sometimes you, oh, there we go. That was better than... 4885. Yeah, not bad. Stayed a while. Stayed a while, quite, quite a while. Yeah, did you ever see, there's a, there's a famous video called Squid vs. Shark. <laughs> no. And, um, can you guess who won? Uh, the squid? They sure did, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a crazy old video because it's that thing where you're, you... Because apparently squids are smart. Oh, yeah. Just stealthy. And when you watch it, it just waits. And it just wriggles around. Because <laughs> you, know, like, you think, like, obviously, it's like, what would win a squid versus a shark? And you think, shark, they're huge, they're strong. They're... Yeah, they got these ferocious teeth. But they're just swimming around. They can only see, like... What's straight ahead? These octopuses, man, they got eyes all around. They got all those bloody tentacles. Oh, yeah. And I think they're one of the oldest creatures. Um, Possibly sharks are real old. So sharks are old. I think they they compete for being some of the you know, most ancient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good bonus. And when I look into the eye of an octopus, man, I don't know what I see. You know, you look in the animal, in different animals' eyes, like a dog, I just see like a, like a need for attention, and you see yeah. a cat, and there's like a, there's kind of like a, a, an indifference, but at the same time, like a, like a pride. Yeah. You know, you look in a fucking octopus's eye, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, see, there you go. Okay, you're already crushing my score. This is just the second round. Third round, actually. Good work. Oh, twice, damn it. Yeah, it's it's hard because you, you, you kind of get in that rhythm, yeah. you know? Oh, my God. You really it's a fun game because you have to, like, you have to balance killing the, the, the mother, but at the same time dealing with her spawns, you know? Oh, yeah. A lot of good games are uh, that, that balance of... Um, Yes! Headshot! A defensive and offensive, and uh, defending, scoring, the whole deal. That's my yeah. tactic, is to kind of time it and then go up to the baby. Yeah, if you, if, you can, if you can get it, but yeah, that one you had it, but you had to recall it because yeah, of this one. Yeah, I didn't have time. Ah, oh, cool tactic. Hold on! I was supposed to just drop some shit. Octopuses have eight brains, three hearts, and can edit their own genes? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No wonder Cthulhu is a yeah. goddamn octopus. Octopus god. Damn. Finally, I'm doing okay at a game today. <laughs> getting destroyed at all yeah, the other games. Yeah, some today. days are just tough, you know? Yeah. Oh, thanks for that details, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's really wild. I clearly gotta read more about octopuses, you know? Points. Oh, now what's happening? Now this yeah, is now when I... Diagonal. I think this is when I, I couldn't... This is, like, my kind of glass ceiling. Imagine editing your own genes. Just be like a programmer for your own body. You just go in and open up. Uh, what's the What's one of the softwares good. that you use to build um, a, a game for the twenty six hundred? Uh, Batari Basic. You just fucking pull up some Batari Basic. Just go like, I want blue eyes instead of red, man. Blue eyes yeah. instead of brown. You know, you could just do it if you're an octopus. And eight brains. That's insanity. Wow. I wonder what each brain does. Man, I gotta read up on octopuses. Yeah. 
Clearly. This is what we learned from this game. Octopus facts. Yeah. I didn't get it. Yeah, see, that was She's the same away. thing, which is neat. So your points are significantly... I think you killed her faster, um, and that's why you got more points than me, potentially. Yeah. Um, so I think it is a bit of a race against the clock. It's like if you it wanted is. to push for high score, and that's cool. What a, what a great little game this is. I'm so happy. Yeah, a lot of little one, things going on in it. One for each arm. Uh, Whoa. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, the balance between killing the spawn and killing her is so hard. Just messed it. Got it. Damn it. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, Spartans got some, based off of I suppose info, the octopus is the greatest threat to take over humanity, and I vote we eliminate them ASAP. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, man, we gotta get some foreign policy for these octopuses that are invading. <laughs> Talk about the Watchmen, man. You ever see the Watchmen? The, I'll read the Watchmen. No, I didn't read it. The, I, yeah, I, I've heard about the ending of it. Right? Yeah, it's the octopus. Oh, and now the blue thing is just gone? Yeah, I lost it because I Whoa, got fully? hit too many times. Damn, what a cool... Also, that's kind of like... <laughs> As Ramirez says, need to include these octofacts in the manual. Thousand percent yeah. you do, man. Oh, God. Just, just, we gotta... Re oh, God. And you're like, I came for fun, and I learned something. That's all you can ask. <laughs> Don't make me learn. <laughs> three. Oh, I think no. those take three. I just couldn't get it in. Oh, that's really good. Nice. 11, 5, 540. Very happy oh, with that. Oh, yeah, good work. Okay. We got... Oh, got some time. Okay, next one is Space Game 2K. And we played Space Game, the full version, quite a few times. But I don't think we played Space Game 2K on this game, oh, on cool. show. Another shooter. There we go. So this is this. Uh, oh, it just throws you right in. <laughs> Whoa. Who, who, who designed this? This is by um, Carl Garrison. Carl G. I haven't been saying the name. Miss Galactopus was by Rick oh, Pryor. No. Karyu Yojimbo. Uh, Hugo Hunt 4K was by Angelsoft. Dog Walk was by Vota, yeah, aka Newly. Whoa. So What's this thing do? Can I get that thing? That comes down and kills you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, because that's your time limit, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, death. no. Death becomes you. It happens. Oh, thanks for putting up the score, S. Ramirez. Did you ever, you ever see that movie with uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Which Meryl Streep, Death Becomes Her? No, <laughs> I haven't even heard that. It's a good movie. Is it? Was it, um, I'm guessing it was after Die Hard? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because that was his big... That's actually a really, that, that was one of those, one of the most creative movies. It rocked my mind just with the premise. Die Hard? No, um, <laughs> Death Becomes Her. Oh. I think it's no, Goldie no, Hawn is in it. it, I think. Well... Heavy hitters of the 80s. <laughs> it is, man. Totally in the 80s. I mean, Meryl stick. Streep's still a heavy hitter. I think, I think I'm think i nailing that cast. I hope I am. Whatever. <laughs> half, Let's take a look. Half the fun of... Guessing. Yeah. As guessing. Before the internet. Yeah. So to... You can seem like a genius. You can just make up things. Let's take a look. Oh, IMDb. Come on. Don't give me attitude. Now I'm. I think I got the. I think I got all those details right. Yeah. That would be awesome if I did. It's very possible I didn't though. Death. Um, her, Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis, and, and we will see. Oh, shots. Whoa. Whoa. And Goldie Hawn. Damn, so read this, uh, yeah. read the it, synopsis of this shit. Isabella this is a Rosalini crazy well. movie. Uh, when a woman learns of an immortality treatment. Yes. Why would it call it, I guess, treatment? She sees it as a way to outdo her longtime rival. Yeah. 
So it's 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 a pretty terrible movie. Yeah. Like, but at the same time, it's just like there's like a there's like a hilarious beat where they realize there's immortality and they hang out in his mansion and just like Elvis is there, all these oh. people. It's it's a it's the it's the eighties, man. The only time that such a movie could exist. <laughs> and and the third act is so fucking amazing. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but it's pretty good. Who plays Elvis? Um, oh, I don't know. Ron Stein. <laughs> it's, it's some guy they found in uh, Vegas. <laughs> Greta Garbo, Marilyn Monroe, Andy Warhol, James Dean, Jim Morrison. Yeah, see, they just have a, a mansion full of all these famous people so that they could have... <laughs> That's funny. And Bruce Willis is like a great performance. He plays like this dumb character who's not at all like a Bruce Willis character. He's oh, like this yeah. nerdy, introverted guy who's just... <laughs> Oh, so he's compacted his game down to just 2K. I don't think. Is there any power ups? Um, I don't like, know, man. I, I I guess I've been doing okay. Um, because in the original game, there's it's it's all about the power ups, the doubling of the ships. Um, why? Do, oh, see, I think I'm dead. I don't know how. Like, I don't know how well I did is exactly. There I think it's just over. I mean, I think I got two red dots, whatever that means. Oh, the oh levels, I think. Ah, cool. That's what it does. Yeah, there's green. Because, you know, you get down to 2K, you don't even have room for fonts <laughs> to make a, uh, numbers up. So he uh, kept it simple by just keeping it with uh, little dots for the levels. So you got I've got four green. Unfortunately, they disappear when you die, so you can't really see what level you got up to. Yeah, I don't think there's any power-ups in this version of it. It's just shooting with the time limit. Same look. Dude, Robert Zemeckis directed oh. it. Back to the Future. Wow. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I, I would say that it is, like, it's one of those movies where, um, I saw that movie maybe when I was 15 years old, and I think about that movie once a month, probably. <laughs> really? You know what I mean? It's one of those things, not obviously, like, I don't look back on it being, like, just, I don't look back on it being, like, oh, oh like, shit, wow, you know, but, it, film. but it's that thing where it's, like, it sticks with you because it's so ridiculous. The premise, yeah. The premise is so good, and the third act is amazing. It's, like, what it turns into is just one of the greatest things. <laughs> And, and it, just imagine if you do watch it. Imagine being fifteen, just just, right. just like your mind's being blown. You know, it doesn't seem like a movie a fifteen year old would really go out of the way to rent. No, but this is what I, I was just this kid, man. I just look through and I just be like, because on the cover of it, it's like got her head twisted around back. Oh, I've seen that. And, and well. I was like, man, I've got to watch this movie. What is this movie? Oh, I think I've seen clips from that movie where they're just like destroying each other's bodies and like well, that's wrecking the, each that's other. That's the third act, man. You don't want to spoil okay. it for him. But yeah, it's the third act is so good. Um, oh, the other one that I, I watched recently, which is, a, 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 man, I don't even know if I'd recommend it. It was just this <laughs> depraved thing. It was on Netflix. I started watching this, this Don't Fuck With Cats business. Oh, yeah, I put that on my to-watch list. Man, you when you watch it this... It doesn't sound like an easy watch. Oof, watching this, you just feel like, what kind of depraved shit did Erlen put me through? Like, <laughs> you know, I was like watching this, and I was like, man, I can understand why chicks are running out of the theater based off of the stuff I'm recommending. It's a, it's a good show though man it's true cr yeah. true crime right. and that's documentary? one documentary right. documentary uh three part an hour each and yeah. fuck does it get interesting um the last the last episode is like probably the weakest but the first two are just whoa it's um yeah and i guarantee you man you're gonna like it, you'll have the most visceral physical reaction to it mm. um i sure did I haven't had that kind of anxiety in a long time. Oh, no. Yeah. It just pushes a primal button that's like, you're like, you're like yeah, okay, I see why the premise is the premise. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. I know you'll love it, man. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, I like good documentaries. Yeah, and if anyone out there watches it, just just be careful. Watch it alone. 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm telling you, man. Not a that's not like, oh, definitely. That's going to be like, Aaron, what kind of depraved shit did you fucking put us in? <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's, it's definitely in the true crime genre, right? Which is like, you're drawn to that genre, not be, because you're sort of fascinated oh, with these sociopathic you lunatics, you know? It's like, think of it as like watching a Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> fucking documentary, no. you know? You, you don't want to watch a Jeffrey Dahmer documentary with your grandma. No. Oh, this is a good game, it's though. It's a really, a real game. good one. Even at 2K, like the the full game is great, and the 2K reduced version is great. Um, it's just a good space shooter. They're moving around. Um, you have like a time limit. This one's where it shoot faster. This one where it take multiple hits. Don't have all the power ups of the original game, but eh, you don't miss them too much for a simplified version. And I like the scoring, or the, the levels, the way it counts the levels. So I'm up to two red and... I love that the time limit is just this. Oh yeah, you made it way past where I was at, man. It doesn't seem to be getting much um, harder. S for Mirrors, I kind of like it without the power-ups. Yeah, it's... It's got a got a charm to it. It's just like a straight ahead I just, I old school shooter. I, man, I gotta say, I got a soft spot in my heart for these 4K games. There's just some sim some beautiful simplicity. Oh, me too. I oh, think new guy. I I, cool. I I didn't really like. I'm only thinking about it now. I mean, I'm sure this has been the plan forever, but it's really nice that you did that as a category. I think it's because they're in a class of their own. They're really different. Well, yeah, and it is um you know, I think that's really because there's there's a there's an elegance to it, you know? I yeah. don't know. It, they feel like they're their own genre in a way and and they're beautiful and it's just yeah, like and I, you think about the thematic kind of connection between all these games and it's just simple. <sighs> and not and simple in the best way. Oh my no. god, it killed me twice. You have to move. Yeah, they're very, they're very, very simple. Oh, oh Carl's saying something. He said this was my personal a, um, personal owl challenge or AI challenge to complete a full game in assembly, and 2K was an extra challenge. Man, it's amazing what you do when you sort of have like a challenge to yourself like that. You know, that's really cool. Yeah, and this being in 2K is all also really, really amazing. Oh, personal. Yeah, this was my personal challenge. That makes sense. Sorry, I was misreading your your, your thing. And yeah, I'm. I'm with S. Ramirez. Thanks for completing it. This is yeah. a great one. Dude, we got our cephalopod ones. <laughs> Man, me and cephalopods are, 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 are homies so four, now. Four, four, five, four times. I don't know what those go up to. Ten? Maybe ten. ten that ten seems each. right. Yep. So I think we're on our last game yeah, now. Yeah, because I got to head gotta yeah. run out. Yeah, I'm doing a short film, and we're just scouting this mansion location. Ooh, um, there's nice. a big scene that's going to happen at a mansion. This is I'm not directing this one. I'm, I'm cinematographer, but oh, okay. Um, it's uh, my friend Wolfgang who uh, he shoots my movies, and um, and it's kind of it's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's we got it's I think it's a couple hours out of town. Oh, um, so what we, city? Um, oh, I don't even know. Oh, I'm just somewhere. getting in a car and we'll a couple drive. Couple hours. Me. That's. But uh, Ways but we want to see it at daytime and nighttime, so oh, that's why we so gotta hit that edge. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to go in the morning, and I was like, "Fuck you guys, I'm doing the <laughs> show." <laughs> yeah, so this is a two-player game. Oh, or can be cool. Let's, let's get the other player going though. Okay. Pressure button. Oh yeah, you just Whoa. join in. I so love what that. happens? Okay, what do we so gotta do. You can press the button to go faster. Whoa. Hold it to move around faster. I'm you want hit? You want to get the colored, uh, colored stuff, and not the. Ah, ah. So the colored stuff is. What's colored? None of those. That is. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. And oh, then I like got my health back. So let's uh, start again. Oh, I see. And the great thing about which oh, one's God. me? I, okay. Oh, I am green, I and Erlen is. What's two stand for? Yeah, dudes. Whoa. That's your score. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got a couple. That's good news. Whoa, hit. And oh, I can't remember all the nuances of this game. Um, you can rejoin in any time if you die. Like, if you die, 
and I'm still playing, you can keep, you can uh, join in again. Your score starts at zero, and it's at a higher, oh, much higher oh, level. I'm just my ass kicked now, fuck. Oh, you can only go fast left and right. That's Whoa. Whoa, oh, I'm almost dead, I'm dead. You can join in again, I think. Oh, but then I got none. Oh, that's cool, so then... You got none. <laughs> wow, what a chiller game. This is very cool, because, yeah, it's like, if you... I mean, I remember when I used to play Mario with my sister, it would be like, I'm gonna, you play Luigi, Erlen. I'd be like, okay. And then she would play for like 20 minutes, and then I'd get Luigi, and I'd <laughs> fucking die within a minute, and then I'd just sit and watch her play for 20 minutes. So it's cool that it's like a two player game that isn't turn based, because yes. that's a real challenge when you're doing that stuff, is you just end up, cause some, like, if someone's better at it, well, then it's hard. You can't really even play with them, versus this, it's like, you could be crushing it. <laughs> And, yeah. and then you can just pop back in. It's not like you gotta like watch someone play, you know, Mario way better than you. And it's got really, really cool music too. Wow. And uh, a, lot, a lot of these. Uh, and you kind of these... have you can take a, a kind of a, like a number of hits. Yeah. I'm noticing that there's a pattern to oh. them though. Oh, um, yeah, there's a pattern. Some of them go up and down. But I've noticed that if down. they if they release a colored one, yeah. they'll actually release another one on a similar trajectory. Like, I've been able to get a couple in a row oh, from just... Uh, interesting. Which is, I haven't what, noticed that pattern. Oh, uh, I died. And your... Um, whoa. Your, how close you are to death is how much red there is in your score. Whoa, yeah, so, see. So, Erlen's... On the left, he's got 15, and I just restarted, and I've got one. Whoa! See, now I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, I'm almost dead. And now it's getting intense, this music. I feel it. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, and it's the color of, like, the level, you know? Yeah, and that indicates what level you're up to. Well, what's interesting is that these ones are fairly, like... For a while, I was in a rhythm, and now I'm out of it. Oh, death. Death at nine. I think this is nominated for best music? Best Should sound? be. This is great music. And some of these 4Ks, um, you'd think, oh, they're 4K, they can't compete. Um, but a lot of them are in other categories. Oh, so let me just that's take a good, look. man. Amoeba Jump is Amoeba. up for Best Homebrew, along with Dog Walk and Caverns, and, um, and Hugo Hunt, and Space Dude, 21. Game. That's the best oh, I've done, really I think. Um, let's see where all the other ones are in the categories as well. Blender Pac-Man. You're right, man. Who said that? Carl. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> like a blender. It's like if Pac-Man, we went into the code of Pac-Man... This is when Pac-Man takes a mushroom from <laughs> Mario. <right>. Oh, <laughs> it's like, wait, what where's, happened? Where's the maze? It's all over the place. Miss Galactopus is up for Best Music and Sound, as long as, as well as Water Diver. Best Music and Sound. Meeba Jump is up for Best Packaging. Uh, let's see what else. So those are the ones that are also nominated in it's, other it's categories. It's easier when you're on your own, because then you won't take one of the ones, so I can kind of like... You get the I higher can, scores. I can get more more strategic with it, but it's also less fun, because it's like, who wants to play games alone? If you, I know. You know? What? I can jump <gasps> in. See, I just Anytime. made a friend. And how many games, how many 2600 games are there that you can jump in? Any time. See, I'm, I'm a big fan of just I being able to jump in. I think that's it. This is the only one I know of that you can just, yeah, pop in and out. You die. You don't have to keep playing. Start playing later. It's a chiller game, is what it is. You can just relax and. Oh yeah. And Take like, it at your own you, pace. You die. It's like whatever. We'll just... I'd say that's good music. Yeah. I just found a, a, a bit talk. of a pattern, right? Yeah. Um, so like, the, see, see that they. Oh, I that died. Twenty. Let's see what I can get up to. And then we'll 
Finish it off. Yeah. Oh, 18. Eat, eat even more for a 2K game. Like, what is this one? Yeah, this is a 4K game. Even more for a 2K game, just because uh -huh. the ordinary voter doesn't know any better. I doubt Space Game 2K will win over Galagon. Oh, you mean in the general? Ah, uh, 11. Sense. That's so good. Yeah, but indeed an honor, regardless, to be on the same list. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Getting a 4K nominated over a much larger game is almost like winning. It it's very close. Like it's to, true, to have man. A 4K game alongside for best homebrew. Uh, alongside like these 32k CDFJ ARM yeah. processor, like everything thrown at it is, and, uh, is an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, and having something that's, um, a, I don't know if this is original, but I do think that there's something to be said too about whether you're kind of taking something that's like already exists or completely from the ground up. I think there's a yeah. big difference there. And we're going to add that next year. That's a great thing. Separate original from ports. Yeah, that's you know, a like, great idea. Like, best original screenplay versus best adapted Hell screenplay yeah. because there is a, something that comes along with an a, a port yeah there's history there's um something to base it on and there's you just fucking hitting in a hardcore nostalgia button on yeah. someone too which is like anything you've played when you were like whatever age yeah. you started playing is gonna you do have to adapt the graphics. Totally. You do have to adapt the gameplay. You have to scale it down to the 2600, but it's already there. Yeah, and the and the so. game mechanics have been broken for you. You know, yeah. they've been they've been sort the, of like figured out. So you're the balance is already there. You you know what to try and emulate. And you can certainly take it farther, but yeah, to do like a walk a dog, right? You're just you're you're yeah. you're completely designing <laughs> everything from the ground slate. up. It's like the it's a complete design thing. A port is more technical achievement. Yeah, that is true. It's, 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 yeah, man. It's tough. And there's to... certainly art to a port as well. Yeah. But you're right. It's like original versus versus port. It's just it's different. They're both. They both have, like great merit to both of them hell yeah but they're different exercises i think um but yeah i think that's a great thing to to move on to yeah in the next edition of it oh i approve um, of that that would be awesome because it, there was a lot of ports this year so i thought you know maybe we can swing a port category because there has to be enough to make a category and i think that'll be a nice a nice thing yeah. so for the top prize it will be a split kind of thing if you can call like best homebrew is accumulation of everything all put together so that'll be a top prize like best original best port yeah yeah um and we've added the seven eight hundred games and eight bit fifty two hundred games this year so that was really nice and some people are already calling for we want best work in progress for for the eight bits and best work in progress for seventy eight hundred games so we'll probably add that next probably won't branch out too much we'll we'll see how it goes maybe Maybe we will with the 8-bit ones. I don't know. It costs a lot because I have to buy the <laughs> stack of uh, uh, stack of uh, awards for next year, and it costs a lot already. Luckily, we got a sponsor this year for the awards, which is which is wonderful. Yeah. And we'll see. Maybe there'll be one to sponsor it for next year. We can just make a slew of awards. It'd that'd be, be awesome. That would be really, really great. Um, I know my feeling my Laser Man 88 on the 2600 is a port of my Laser Man game I did on the TI 99 foray. It's neat to just go yeah. somewhere new, you know, each time with the show, like each season. Just have something new, you know. Yeah. It doesn't have to be crazy. It's just neat to have some different stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, it's such a great such a great thing, and it's really, like, kind of beautiful in a way, based off of the last show I was on here. We mm -hmm. had this that interesting discussion at the beginning, and it's neat yeah. to sort of, like, it's a great full circle thing to come and just play some 4K, 2K games, get back to the basics, some yeah. Atari basic, you know, and just yeah. go... Hell yeah! This is there's <laughs> these games are great. The simplicity and there's an elegance to it, and there's yep. absolutely nothing wrong. Yep. And as in all honesty, just personally, um, some of these games I probably be way more excited to play than like Galagon. And I mean, I love Galagon, but I'm just saying that like I, I'm not from my perspective as a gamer. I don't feel like any of these are are you know they're just Lesser. different. Yeah, totally. In all honesty, if James had he has his video yeah. game nights, man, I guarantee you that like. 
I would fuck with all these games. Like, you know? I really want to put in a lot of effort into Caverns. Like, yeah. I want to get that done. Man, I want to play some Amoeba <laughs> Jump again. I want to try to get that friggin' note thing down. I want to try to walk yeah. a dog some more. I want to, like, you know, it's I, I, they're, they're just a different thing at, like, James's party. Those are the games that I like playing. And if yeah. Galagong's they're there, pick up. I'm like, ah, Galagong's great, and I love it, and it's so fucking cool. But, like, at the same time, I'm not, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like I don't personally have this attachment to the technical wonder of it. I think I appreciate that, yeah. but if I'm just sitting around eating my chips playing games... Yeah, and everybody's going to vote, like just go into the votes, everybody's going to vote on a different criteria. Hell yeah. Are they going to vote for gameplay? Are they going to vote for nostalgia? Are they going to vote for like, oh, this is my favorite game, now it's ported? Yeah. Or they just like, something speaks to them. And about say amoeba jump or something that's the like, cool part about being a person is like your perspective is your world like if you see the world through music you're going to respond to the audio if you're super into programming you're gonna whatever your sort of lens is and that's what that's why these awards on yeah. some level are arbitrary but on another yes. level are important and i think i super approve of the fact that it gets people excited and doing yeah. stuff but it's also a real shame because it, there can be this like hierarchy that happens yeah. and, and then, that's the unfortunate side effect of awards yeah. and saying this is best it's it doesn't just, mean that any of the other ones are bad in any way yeah. It's just, you know, people just like this one. It's and, just a snapshot it, of this group of people at this time chose yeah. this out of this thing. And and I, I think it's great to honor the all the games. Yeah. And that's why I play all of them on the show. And, you know, being nominated is, is shows that these are games that people pay attention to. Um, I, I have a book of original games <laughs> <laughs> that I've come up with. And my problem is I don't have time to make yeah. the games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got a big stack of them. But there's plenty of uh, plenty of ideas out there for for original games. That's but right. Some people like. Just we got the Menor channel. Madness. We got Shoplifter. Madness, we got yeah. what That's else right. do we got? You know, those are the two that I remember. I'm bullshitted. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, so that's it for today. We're probably going to have to pack in a ton of games on Friday with Tanya. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's, it's fine. I might even add another episode, another stream yeah. to it. I don't know. Um, oh, D-Train, welcome. Hey, Menorah Madness. Oh, You're it's at good. work. We'll, that's we'll, okay. You can rewind yeah, you can, and watch it again. Totally, and you can catch us on YouTube later yeah. too. If that's, yeah. if Post that's it on tomorrow there. on YouTube. Because um, Darcy is away right yeah. now. Um, so unfortunately he's not here, so it will be Tanya for a long time. Uh, yeah. No, and then it'll be Tanya because you aren't here when we come back after the awards. Yeah. So you're getting a lot of Tanya. Yeah, I'll be back. It's just been a tough month for me. I just got a, really lot, of hectic, yeah. a lot of life-changing opportunities, which are so exciting, but it's just taking away from a lot of my stuff, and it's, you know... <laughs> yeah man we should come up with one. Oh, i got i got some ideas we can we can do a little <laughs> collab go. going we the d I mean, train he, he sent me a bunch of ideas so i don't know i could forward them on to you the or... david train if i remember correctly <laughs> ah, i don't remember yes. i think i think that's right nothing wrong with tanya <laughs> yeah, yes oh i nailed it the yeah, david yeah, yeah. train <laughs> yeah um so probably I might even do a unscheduled show just to get it in. I may not yeah. be on a Friday or a Wednesday. I don't know. I'll see. Cool, because man. And I'll let you know what my schedule looks like for, yeah. for next week because there might be a possibility oh. to sneak one in. I just have to like confirm. Just check my schedule. The problem is, is I because it's we're in production mode, it's that yeah. thing where we're still figuring out. That's why I needed to sort of like um, cancel some of the stuff just because it's like um, if something shifts around at the last, because even today, like it was flipped around, it was like yeah. we're gonna go, we're not gonna go, and it's. But I'll I'll let you I'll let you know. Yeah, because it'd be an unscheduled bonus show. I can do Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Okay, cool. Let me look and see which days I'm on. Because Wednesday's set. even kind of pushing it into the awards, yeah, and I want to kind of get close. starting s setting up stuff for the first and the Wednesdays not too yeah bad. do it well oh, i'll let me like not too bad but. let me find out i'll find out today from from wolf what the schedule is like yeah. and we'll kind of confirm that and then i'll let you know right away and we'll see be if it works because i want to play the um 8-bit games oh that'll be on awesome. the show because i've got the um emulator installed and some of them are just like 
really fun yeah. looking because <laughs> they're very very advanced with beautiful graphics and sound oh, and these are all like okay cool but we, yeah we yeah. got around and sure so let's uh say the names s ramirez d train dan avc trust 26 s ramirez 2008 carl g i supposed to was around spartan 581 man we learned about octopuses a good day trey, trey guy um oh, i'm sure there's some people we're missing sorry Mr. folks Fix, ground trooper yeah carl g uh who else yeah thanks for tuning in the I zero think page homebrew it. asshole whoever that is oh, posting terrible. at the beginning and then being quiet the whole time yeah i never talked <laughs> it's terrible quite a few subscribers today yes a lot of the hardcores are in today um yeah lots of people watching oh, thanks for it. tuning in um so the next show is going to be on friday with tanya uh normal normal evening time and we'll be going through some more of the non 4k completed games and, the, and the probably get through continues. all of those yeah more of the nominated games so thanks for tuning in once again and uh we'll be back and hopefully voting we'll get something i'll be I'll watch the atari age forums for updates i can't don't have any updates right now so we'll see you next time we'll see him maybe, maybe next week at least on the award show on the hell first, yeah february 1st award show i will be Tune there in then so thanks for tuning in Bye, Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out.